So there's a lot of people out there giving Prey excellent reviews, and I'm here to fucking tell you bullshit. The game's an absolute joke, and I got a fucking ton of reasons why. To start with, you're not gonna like Prey if you're expecting a first-person shooter. Prey this time around is a first-person reader, followed by first-person collector. As far as first-person shooting goes, you're not gonna get a chance to do any damage to any sort of enemy for at least 30 minutes. The learning curve in Prey is a fucking joke. There is no learning curve. Every little thing that you're gonna do and interact with in the world, you get your hand held. All these new first-person shooters that are coming out are too afraid to give you a gun and say, go for it, my friend. We have faith that you'll save the world, or whatever the fuck you're meant to do in this abomination. Character customization is a joke. Essentially, what you get is an option to pick a man or woman at the start, who nobody really gives a fuck, it's the character, give me a character, but no, everything's gotta be politically fucking correct. Bullshit, kiss my taint. Basically, what you're gonna do during the game is upgrade your character's skill set. Surprise, surprise, there's nothing new here. Essentially, you start as a regular player, just a normal human being, and as you go through the world, you upgrade all your skills. So essentially, by the end of the game, because you've upgraded all your skills and what have you, you're just as strong as the enemies. That's how the game goes. There's no harder challenge by the end of the game. Welcome to 2017, where everybody gets a blue fucking ribbon. The control scheme in the game is pretty fucking average. There's nothing too special or unique here. The one thing that actually really pisses me off is on your selection wheel. So you open up the selection wheel and the color as you're hovering over individual items is very similar. This means when you're in the heat of the moment and need to flick to a weapon straight away, you can't. There's no way to identify immediately what you're on. I accidentally selected the wrong weapon a couple of times. But don't worry, they allow you to map some things to the D-pad, which is awkward and clunky as all fuck. Just doesn't work properly how it should, you... <laughs> it's like, man, who the fuck added this to the game? It's terrible! User interface, you know, it's nothing too special. It is what it is. You've got your regular kind of life, you've got your, you know, health and armor and all that standard shit. It didn't annoy me, it didn't not annoy me, it was just there, it was just the user interface, so don't go expecting anything too crazy from that. As far as the menu design in the game, I'm not a huge fan of them having a menu and then having both the triggers to hover across and the bumpers, so there's like two layers of menus within the menu. It's just like, why the fuck are you adding all this complexity to something that should take me straight to the game? Stop doing that fucking shit, you twat burgers! The other big thing with the menu that jerks you fucking so hard that you just want to kill yourself is there's two loading screens. You've got a regular loading screen, and again, the loading screen isn't too special, there's nothing new here. And then after that loading screen's finished, you've got some other loading screen, like a second loading screen. And for me, I'm guessing the second loading screen is for each individual platform. One for Xbox, one for PlayStation, one for PC, etc, etc. They just put it into some engine and then said, let's make two loading screens, because cunts love to sit there waiting. As far as the graphics go, <laughs> anyone that's saying, oh, they're ecstatically good, you know what, man? They're fucking not. It's 2017, there's nothing superb that I've seen so far in the game that makes me think, oh, these are mind-blowing graphics, they're fucking giving me orgasm after orgasm. That's bullshit. There's such a correlation between the opening of Bioshock, where you get the wrench, and the opening of Prey, where you get the wrench, and then you come to the sort of first sections in both games. In Prey, the wrench doesn't even have a fucking colour to it, man. It's all this monotone bullshit, like, yuck! In Bioshock, you had this wrench that was like, you know, graphically, oh, look at me, I'm a wrench, I'm gonna do some damage. In this new one, it's just like, eh, look at me, I'm a wrench, I'm gonna do some damage. It's fucked! And then as you come to like the first section in Prey, after you spend like fucking 45 minutes, an hour, whatever it is, fucking around in the opening little bullshit bit, you come to this like sort of first section where you're walking down a staircase, you see some golden statues, a moon, the outer space area with all this glass. That's kind of cool, 
But the graphics there aren't anything better than the original Bioshock, man. The fucking game starts with this bullshit opening scene. And then it goes to this thing where you hop in an aircraft and then you fly around the world as it shows you the company's name in bright lights. But honestly, that's like a perfect moment for them to go look at how graphically fucking superior our game is. And you know what, man? I was sitting there like literally in fits of laughter going, Haha, Look at the clouds! They're fucking shit! Oh, look at those buildings! They're so square! And as you'd fly around the world and be looking at different things, they could have had things like birds appear way earlier than they did a couple of times, or smoke on a building appear, or whatever. But they didn't. They fucked even the opening cutscene where they could have visually gone, look at this fucking awesome game. You know why? It's not a fucking awesome game. It belongs in toilet water. It's not, that's what I'm saying. People that are like, oh, the graphics are great. The fuck off the graphics are great. Are you fucking blind, man? Don't assume my identity. He just assumed my identity. Let's call the PC police. There's nothing visually stunning here that's like fucking torn me and you, asshole. And this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Gameplay! What's the fucking gameplay like in Prey? Oh man, you guys are not missing out on much here, let me tell you. The gameplay is so fucking brilliant. They even give you this opening bullshit quiz where you've got to wait to fucking go through the next door and then wait to go through the next door. And finally, when you get to the quiz that you're allowed to do, and then you have to wait after the quiz to go through the next door, as you're completing the quiz, you'll notice they can't even fucking write sentences properly, man. It's like, who the fuck wrote this shit? It's fucking terrible. And it's not just waiting to go through doors and then more fucking words and more waiting to go through doors and finding the elements. Not just all that shit, man. There's so much other shit wrong with the gameplay. It feels like you're playing a game from like the 15 fucking hundreds. Oh, let's let's loot a corpse. Oh, let's let's read an email. Oh, let's download something. Oh, let's open a fucking letter. Oh, let's open a book. Oh, let's read some more. Oh, let's loot another corpse. Oh, let's read some more. Oh, let's open another email. Oh, let's read some more. Oh, you've had enough of all that? Don't worry, friends. We'll fucking sit there and put a black screen on the screen and make you fucking sit there reading the fucking text. Because if you don't want to read, we'll fucking force you to read the dialogue. Fuck that! So maybe it's just me who doesn't like reading dialogue and letters and more emails. Maybe it's just me who doesn't like looting corpses and feeling like I'm playing gameplay from Dead Island in 2000 and fucking something. You know what, man? It's not about the dialogue in a first-person shooter, man. Different if it was actually a first-person collector or first-person fucking whatever, but this is meant to be a first-person shooter. So, for me, I don't want to sit there and read. I don't want to fucking sit there and open letters. But putting all that aside, like none of that coming back into it at all, just all that aside, if you enjoy that, I'm happy for you. I'm super happy. It's the other little things that are wrong with the fucking game. For example, when you're running and you come to these like quarantine doors, you're sprinting around the world, going really fast, and then suddenly you think you're about to go through the doors and they close right on you. Instead of them being triggered to close way earlier, they wait until you're almost through them, which makes you go, oh, this is fucked, I've got to wait again. So instead of just increasing the time that they closed from a further distance out, they've made you feel like, oh, we're going to slow him down some more, let's slow down the gameplay some more. It's so fucked. The very first moment I was playing the game and moving my right thumb around, I was like, man, there's input lag on the fucking thumbstick. It feels like you literally move your thumb and then the fucking cursor starts moving. Like, I don't know if it's a millisecond, half a millisecond, half a second, whatever. There's input lag on the fucking thumbstick, dude. That's how it genuinely feels. It's fucking terrible. On top of shit like that, Everyone that's going, oh, it's a really scary game, I'm fucking scared for my life. You know what, man? What the fuck are you scared of? This game, there's nothing scary in it that I've come across. I actually had a f spider, like a real life spider in the real world, run across my foot. I was more scared of the spider than I was of anything in the fucking game. There's nothing scary in this game. Go and play like a fucking actual scary game and then come back and play this. It's not fucking scary. What the fuck is wrong with you pussies? And on top of that, like, this is just how great the game truly is. Like, this speaks leaps and bounds. 
Every single person I've seen on the fucking internet so far agrees pretty much unanimously that this is a problem, whether you like the game or don't. The fucking music in the game, and the background music, and the music when you come across enemies, is all too loud, some of it doesn't fucking work, And the music isn't just fucking music, it's like annoying music, it's like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and on top of all of that, I fucking was generous enough to reach out to fucking Bethesda, however you want to pronounce their fucking company's name. And Arcane Studios, Bethesda I didn't hear back from at all. Shout out to a guy from Arcane Studios who at least responded to me when I posted a couple of videos to him showing that I glitched out of the map. He at least responded, well, when we said you can play the game, I'll put, look, I'll put it up on the screen for you. Now, I'm not being funny, if that's how you genuinely feel and I'm offering to literally help you find all these bugs in your game before it comes out, and I would sign non-disclosure agreements to not film any of it, fuck man, I've like glitched out of the map and I'm offering these cunts help. And they're like, oh, nice try, you're trying to get a free copy. It's like, dude, I'm not trying to get a free copy, I'm trying to fix your fucking game that's so fucking broken. And for me, that was the funnest part of the game. When I find you could like glitch out of the map. I didn't give a fuck about the gameplay, man. All I wanted to do was glitch out of the fucking map. Because the gameplay fucking sucks. If I'm having more fun in your game glitching out of the map, that's a fucking problem with the gameplay, man. Anyway, to save this blowing out in time and like becoming a 20 fucking minute video, I don't want to do that. I just want to say there's a shit ton of improvements they could make. Pretty much this whole video they can watch and go, shit, he's right. We don't need to put a fucking black screen up for them to read text. We want to let them play the game. Give him a fucking gun and let me play the game. Give me the wrench straight up. Let me wake up with the fucking wrench in my dick. Like, fuck. But honestly, fix all that shit. And even then, the gameplay in itself, the base gameplay, is still fucking flawed. It doesn't excite me, doesn't do anything for me. There were three things I liked in Prey. One was seeing a picture of JFK. I was blown away by that, and that's pretty much at the start, so there's no spoiler there. But seeing a picture of JFK was very, very cool. The Nerf gun that they added was very cool. The third thing I liked was the thing I found that we proved you could glitch out of the map. So, I had more fun glitching out of the map than I did in the entire fucking game. Would I buy the game? System Fuck no! If these cunts don't fucking care about their game enough to engineer. give someone a copy to try and help them fucking fix their game, even if it's just a limited time copy to fix the game up until release, then they don't really give a fuck. Not hearing back from Bethesda, not hearing back from anyone else from Arcane Studios except that one guy who I don't remember his name but you can read it on the screen now. At least he was cool enough man to respond. Unfortunately he genuinely just didn't understand it was a genuine offer. If that's the case, sorry dude, you fucked up. So with those few things, would I buy the game based on all of the fucking above? Fuck no. If you fucking think the game's scary, if you think this is riveting gameplay, if you think the graphics are stupendously fucking wicked, you A need to go and get your eyes tested, B need to play some real fucking games, C probably aren't a first person shooter fan or a casual gamer, and D go fuck yourself because honestly you've probably been paid to give good reviews or whatever and you know for a fact that you're one of those cunts that's fucking doing humanity a disservice by pretending this shit is actually better than it really is. Kiss my dick. I'm going to play the real prey.